Hi, I'm Daniele, and I'm glad to be here to present our study entitled Perceived Realism of Pedestrian Crowds Trajectories in VR. This project is the result of the joint collaboration between the University College London, the Imperial College, Science, and the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia. VR games such as Emergence or Humanity focus on user experience in crowded environments. At the same time, VR serious games such as Evacuation Training have gained a lot of interest in recent years. In these experiences, producing plausible trajectories can be a high computational cost for real-time graphic engines, especially for standalone VR devices. We explore how real users perceive computationally expensive real trajectories in an immersive environment. To do this, we simulated a large crowd and compared the perceived realism of synthetic trajectories and trajectories extracted from real data. Crowd simulation in VR have been studied extensively in the last decade. In particular, the realism of crowds has been evaluated measuring the level of presence achieved by a human. VR has been used as an experimental tool to improve the level of realism of the microscopic pedestrian simulations. For example, to assess local movements such as collision avoidance and trajectories formed by the participants against real situations. How to measure realism of crowd trajectories is a different topic. There are several approaches to measure the similarity between simulated data and real-world data. For example, by defining an entropy metric that compares entire simulation to reference data. It is possible to apply other laws from different research areas, such as the principle of Pareto optimality, to compare between crowd data under multiple, often conflicting, criteria, or defining an inference-based similarity metric. One important aspect when evaluating realism is the point of view and immersion level. Since immersion is a topic highly correlated to the observation point, we consider these studies highly informative. In addition, different aspects may affect the realism or authenticity of a crowd. Graphical fidelity, avatar realism, social forces, social gestures, and potentially more. But such simulation to be run in a standalone device needs to be cheap. Previous work suggests that very simple crowd behaviors, such as ones having rectilinear and single speed trajectories, can be perceived as plausible while being computationally inexpensive. In the same context, by using camera angle as an experimental condition, we can evaluate crowd plausibility, suggesting that aerial views increase the perceived effect of pedestrian maneuvering illusion. We know that in general trajectory realism is affected by motion illusion effect, so we aim to understand if it can be perceived even in this constrained urban condition where pedestrians are moving in opposite directions. We address the challenge of understanding if computationally inexpensive algorithms can generate realistic trajectories in a scenario showing pedestrians following urban constraints, such as a road crossing. And this is done by measuring it from experiment. Our approach consists in Generating real trajectory from real case video. Generating synthetic simulation that were rendered from different camera angles, adopting the rectilinear algorithm to simulate a pedestrian crossing. Generating the trajectories of each of the simulated agents. Measuring our rectilinear trajectories performed in a two-dimensional display, evaluating the most realistic point of observation in search of motion of illusion. With such an algorithm, we repeat the experiment comparing the trajectory realism with the real data in VR. The real trajectories came from a commercial footage of a crowded pedestrian crossing 
containing 280 pedestrians over 30 seconds. Trajectories were extracted by tracking pedestrians' heads with an open source computer vision software library. By measuring different features on the video, we estimated the size of the scene as 20 by 40 emitters. The synthetic simulations consisted of constant velocity, rectilinear, collision free paths. The entry and exit positions, alongside the time that pedestrians appear in the real world video, were used to initialize starting areas, goal areas, and preferred velocities for each simulated character. For the preferred velocities in particular, a Monte Carlo approach was used. Preferred speeds were sampled from the speed distribution of the actual pedestrians. We want to keep a realistic animation for all our tests. We took our inspiration from the locomotion synthesis work of Holden in 2017 based on deep learning. We took the Microsoft Rocketbox character set and applied animations to them. We recorded the joint position to avoid performing the simulation in real time. This was required for performing the experiment on untethered devices such as the Oculus Quest. We designed two user studies. In the first, 153 participants performed the experiment remotely. We showed two videos of rectilinear trajectories crowd simulations from different camera angles, front view, aerial view, and asked to evaluate the realism via questionnaire. The second experiment was performed in VR and measured how users perceived the realism of the rectilinear trajectories compared with the real trajectories. We also aim to understand how much trajectory realism impacted the level of immersion experienced by the participants. Both experiments have similar design. While the first experiment highlights how synthetic simulations are affected by the point of view and motion illusion was present, we select the most realistic point of view for the second experiment to compare with the immersive scenario. In VR, we compare trajectories coming from real data to synthetic ones. In the first experiment, 75% reported perceiving the rectilinear algorithm as either realistic or plausible. The results validated the plausibility of the rectilinear trajectories especially in the aerial view that we select as term of comparison in the second experiment based in VR. For the second experiment, we developed an application within Unity targeting Oculus Quest 1 or 2. The participants were asked to evaluate the realism of synthetic and real data in an immersive scenario or an aerial view displayed on a screen in a VR environment. Perceived realism was again recorded via the same questions of the first experiment. Results show no statistical difference between the perceived realism of linear trajectories and real trajectories. Also results showed no statistical difference of the immersion level experienced between the real and rectilinear trajectories. To summarize our study, we identify and validate through a user study this computationally inexpensive method of rectilinear trajectories. Validation consists of measuring perceived realism to assess the generation of a plausible set of trajectories for a high-density pedestrian crossing scene. Secondly, we compare via VR user test the perception of realism between the simulated trajectories and a set of real-world trajectories traced from video footage. This experiment outcome highlight how spending computational power for trajectory realism does not necessarily increase the levels of perceived realism and experienced immersion in a high-density crowd crossfold setting. Thank you for your attention and I'm happy to answer your questions.